Coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. DJI brings out a new drone. FAA updates drone sighting reports. Atherton, California looks to be another drone fight. Hi, I'm Bree Cross. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 195,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. Generating buzz is good marketing, and DJI was doing so with a tweet announcing new products for the Mobile World Congress 2017 with a date, time, and location, and a suggestive image which had the drone press speculating, or drooling, over what may lie ahead. And that included us. Led by NewsLedge.com, the first theory had DJI taking the wraps off a Phantom 5, the Phantom 4 was introduced last year, but speculation suggested that people who just bought a Phantom 4 might be unhappy if an upgraded drone was released too soon. There was also buzz about a possible Mavic Pro or another upgrade for the Inspire lines, but the doubting Thomases were right. Just as AMA Drone Report was put to bed, DJI revealed the truth a little early by introducing the Matrice 200 series, serious drones for serious jobs. So those worrying about their Phantom 4 or Mavics being obsolete anytime soon, you can now breathe easy. But if you're looking for an industrial strength drone, the Matrice 200 series deserves serious consideration. Boasting all weather ruggedness, the Matrice series offers multiple gimbals, multiple cameras, self-heating batteries, a quadcopter configuration, and nearly 40 minutes of flight time. In other words, a heavy duty working drone. So let the Phantom 5 and Mavic 2 speculation resume anew. In the next drone minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. Drones were up and flying at the 2017 Consumer Electronics Show, where the AMA Drone Report checked out the new Hover Camera Passport. Uh, so Hover Camera is very, very safe and it's super easy to use. A hover camera is intelligent, that it recognizes its own owner, and it can just find you amongst the crowd and then start auto following you. And then you can even use gesture to signal to have it like take photos and pictures of you. Yeah. Be sure to check out our feature interview, Aero TV Hover Camera Passport at amadronereport.com. Set aside time this August 23rd through the 26th and make tracks for Salt Lake City, Utah. The upcoming Utah Drone Festival is designed to position the state of Utah as a center for unmanned activity. They're building a pretty healthy program roster with workshops, hands-on experiences, races, free fly events, and much more. When AMA took over the historic Ram Show to create AMA Expo East, they had just a few months to prepare. But with Expo now in the history books, an official analysis by AMA's Chad Brudeau indicates that the first Expo East was quite a success. Solid attendance, happy exhibitors, and good reports from attendees provide favorable evidence that AMA Expo East has a positive future. We'll have more to report next week. That was this week's Drone Minute, now back to the news. The FAA has released an updated list of pilot air traffic controller, law enforcement, and citizen reports of potential encounters with unmanned aircraft systems. The latest data covers February through September of 2016, reports of possible drone sightings to FAA air traffic facilities continue to increase during the past year. There were 1,274 such reports from February through September, compared with 874 for the same period in 2015. Although the data contains several reports of pilots claiming drone strikes on their aircraft, we must stress that to date, the FAA has not verified any collision between a civil aircraft and a civil drone. Not one. Each investigation has found the reports to be either birds, impact with items such as wires or posts, or even structural failure not related to colliding with an unmanned aircraft. Still, the FAA has been quite clear that operating drones around airplanes and helicopters is dangerous and illegal, 
even to the point of threatening stiff fines and criminal charges, including possible jail time, for such infractions and wants operators to know where it's legal to fly. To determine where unmanned aircraft can be flown safely, the FAA offers the Before You Fly app, which is available for iOS and Android smartphones. The app is free. Drone paranoia rages on in the cities and towns of America, this time in Atherton, California. The Atherton City Council has given initial approval to an ordinance that severely limits how drones can be operated in the city, which used a wide-ranging privacy argument to make its case. The ordinance says that drones cannot be operated, quote, in a manner that violates an individual's reasonable expectation of privacy. That mandate covers a lot of ground, legally speaking. The ordinance would also ban the operation of hobby drones in Hallbrook Palmer Park, with council members saying noise from some drones could be disturbing to the park users who go there for peace and quiet. At least one council member said drones should be banned from the park, but others said that they should be allowed to shoot videos and stills at events, like weddings, conducted there. The council adopted language for the ordinance that would limit city drone permits to the park for qualified drone operators. The ordinance also places onerous restrictions on model aircraft flights in the city. The ordinance will be before the council again for a second reading and a final vote on March 15th. If it passes, which unfortunately is expected, it would go into effect April 14th. We'll keep you updated. Well, that's our program for this week. Airborne's AMA Drone Report is presented weekly in cooperation with the Academy of Model Aeronautics. And in addition to this program, our daily Airborne Limited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe. And don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And for more information on the exciting hobby drone world, check out www.modelaircraft.org. We'll see you next week.